supposed to be an average cargo run. Of all the islands we supply, none of them had an active volcano, that's for sure. Crikey! This island is full of dinosaurs that need to be shot! It's Dino Strike on the Nintendo Wii. This is what happens when Land of the Lost meets House of the Dead. It's an action-packed, ultra-cheesy, ultra-fun shooter on rails, full of dinosaurs trying to eat your eyeballs. Like most good arcade-style shooters, the more targets that you hit in sequence without missing, the more points you score. But Dino Strike doesn't make it easy. In fact, this game is extremely challenging. While the storyline in Dino Strike is relatively short, if you enjoy the gameplay, you'll find a high degree of replayability as you try to best your scores on each level. When you play this game, you're in the middle of Jurassic Park when all hell breaks loose. You'll be under constant assault by a variety of dinosaurs. You start the game off with a pistol and work your way up to four different weapons. Sadly, none of them are a flamethrower, which would work really well against dinosaurs. The reloading speeds, particularly with the shotgun, are painfully slow and add to the tension and challenge in Dino Strike. Shot that health kit just in time. This game is harder than it looks. Because the weapons are actually not as powerful against these dinosaurs as you might think. I mean, I've never tried to actually shoot a dinosaur with a pistol and uh, see how it reacts, but I, I can only imagine, especially with the larger ones, it takes a few shots to bring them down. Now that Tommy gun, on the other hand, works really well, but it totally destroys your point multiplier. The raptors were overwhelming me and that T-Rex couldn't be far. I chose to face the rapids rather than that monster, hoping the river would speed my escape from this time-forgotten hellhole. <laughs> Dino Strike is a bare-bones release, there's nothing fancy, it's a value-priced title, and man is it awesome! Like, I love cheesy games like this, provided they don't cost a fortune, which this doesn't. A pterodactyl just tried to rip off my head! You can play with up to four players, and you can even dual-wield two different guns, although you'll just be pointing at the screen with the Wii controllers to do that. With one deafening boom, the volcano exploded and shook the island. The storyline, as thin as it is, is delivered in a tremendously dramatic fashion with excellent voice acting. To a tunnel. Knowing there was no way I could finish the climb down. And rather than wasting all of that money on horrible CG cutscenes that nobody likes, the developers chose the simpler, more effective approach of using slides, combined with the voiceover narration and sound effects. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now fighting dinosaurs inside a volcano. Let me repeat that. We're fighting dinosaurs inside a volcano! Eat my lead, dinosaur! Is it hot in here or is it just me? Dino Strike could have benefited from a few more features like a calibration screen and more gun setup options. But you can play four player simultaneous dino slaughtering mayhem. And don't forget that dual wield option for double the firepower and double the dino slaughtering. Don't forget to shoot the eggs for continues. You may need them. Because Dino Strike is a tricky game, it's easy to play through with continues, but difficult to really rack up big scores. Because you don't want to miss, and these dinosaurs are hard to bring down with one shot. Because they're constantly moving and it's really hard to get headshots in this game. 
If you enjoy games like House of the Dead, you'll probably love this. For a budget-priced release, Dino Strike is awesome. And I hope they come out with a sequel for this game. Add flamethrowers in the next one, Dino Strike 2. Aren't they extinct yet?